Hello, hello. Today we're going to be making this fabulous raspberry tart, also known as the tart au framboise. It is super delicious. It's easy to make, but I want to show you how to make this just so you know what to do step by step. So first let's make the vanilla pastry cream. We're going to combine sugar and cornstarch, give that a good stir, and then add the egg yolks. Whisk these in until it's well combined and really smooth and creamy. Next I have a medium sized pot. I'm adding two cups of whole milk here and then the rest of the sugar. Give that a good whisk just to make sure the sugar does not stick to the bottom of the pot. You're going to cook this on medium heat just until it comes to a simmer. Remove the milk from the heat and slowly pour this into the egg mixture, continuously whisking. Only add a little at a time at first so that the eggs can come up to temperature, otherwise they might scramble. Pour the custard mixture back into the pot and then we need to return this to the stove and we're going to cook over medium or medium low heat. Do not cook this on high. You want to do this at a lower temperature so that it doesn't scald or burn on the bottom. So this is gonna cook for a couple of minutes. Keep whisking continuously. Once it begins to boil, whisk for one minute and then remove it from the heat. This next step is optional, however I highly recommend doing this to make sure that no bits of egg get into your pastry cream. So pour your pastry cream through a fine mesh strainer, press it through, and what this does is if any egg bits scrambled when you were tempering, they will stay in the strainer and not in your pastry cream. Last, we need to add our vanilla bean paste and butter. You can cut your butter up into smaller pieces, but this works just as well because the pastry cream is very hot and it melts it quickly. So once this is done, we're going to cover it with plastic wrap and place it in the refrigerator for at least three hours. Next, we're going to make our super delicious tart crust. I love making tart crusts, it's so good. So let's start by adding butter to our stand mixer. Go ahead and turn your mixer on to low and cream the butter just for a few seconds, just to make sure that it's nice and creamy. Then you can stop and add the powdered sugar and mix. Stop and scrape your mixing paddle on occasion. The butter does like to ride up the sides, so make sure you scrape that down into the bowl and then add the egg with the mixer on low just so it combines and then we'll be ready to add our flour. Add the flour in three additions. By adding it slowly, we give the butter time to absorb the flour so it doesn't turn into a dry crumbly mess. Once it's done mixing, we're ready to roll. Now it's time to roll out the dough. Lightly flour a clean work surface and place your dough in the center in the shape of a round circle or disc. Lightly flour the top and flour your rolling pin and then begin to roll. You want to roll just in the middle third of the dough and then turn a quarter turn. The first turn is a half turn, but after that it's going to be just a quarter every time. We lift and turn so that it doesn't stick and also it helps to keep a really round shape. We're going to roll this out to a 12 to 13 inch circle and then we're ready to place it in the pan. Now it's time to transfer the tart crust to the pan. This is probably the part that everyone dreads just a little bit. It's okay. If it rips just a little bit, you can fix it. I've had this happen many times and it works fine. Tart crust is very forgiving, unlike pie crust. So go ahead and press this into the pan. You can see I have a little tear on the side, but after I press this into the pan and press the seams together, you won't even notice that it was there. Next, use a paring knife, trim off the edges, make sure you have a nice clean edge and press it along the fluted edge again. Prick the tart crust with a fork. We're gonna do this all the way across the bottom about every inch. And then this tart crust needs to go into the freezer for 60 minutes. Next, we're gonna make a parchment paper liner for the tart crust. Cut a piece of parchment paper into a square, then fold it in half and then fold it in half again. Then we're going to use a pair of scissors to cut a rounded edge so that this is the round shape of the tart. 
Next, make a few slits along the edge of the parchment paper, about every inch just along that rounded edge, and then unfold and place this in your tart crust. Next, add the pie weights, and it's time to bake at 350 for about 25 minutes. Then we're going to pour the pie weights out, remove the parchment paper, and bake for another five to 10 minutes until the tart crust is nice and golden brown. Now we're ready to make our raspberry compote. This part is super easy. Combine raspberries, water, lemon juice, and sugar in a small pot. And then we're going to cook this over medium to medium low heat. You're simply going to bring it to a simmer and cook for about 10 minutes. Give it a stir occasionally just to make sure nothing's sticking and then it will be ready to strain. Once you pour the raspberry puree into the strainer, press really well with a spatula until you have a thick paste remaining. You want to get as much juice and puree out of these berries as possible. Once you've done that, stir and then place plastic wrap on top and refrigerate for at least one hour. Now it's time to finish the pastry cream and assemble this tart. I have 120 milliliters or half a cup of heavy whipping cream here. I'm going to whip this to stiff peaks and then gently fold it into my pastry cream. Now, if your pastry cream is somewhat thick, which it probably will be after being refrigerated, go ahead and give this a good whisk until it's nice and creamy and then you can fold the whipped cream in. Now it's time to assemble your raspberry tart. To do this, grab your cooled tart crust and spoon the pastry cream into the shell. You may not use all of the pastry cream. I had just a little bit left over, but you're welcome to mound it just a little bit if you want to. I prefer to make mine so that it's a nice even layer and I do it just slightly below the top edge of the tart crust. Once the pastry cream is finished, add the raspberries. You're going to want to add them in a nice tight circle going all the way around and fill it into the center. The last step is to add the raspberry compote. You're simply going to fill the individual raspberries with this raspberry filling. It's super delicious and I like to add it to each of them so that way with every bite you get a little bit of this raspberry filling.